the angry granny and the one that got away. I'm Melton, son of a corporate Mary, daddy corporate, worked on skyscrapers, mom Mary Ann. I'm the son of a corporate Mary, I get to tell parables. I'm also doing a little genetic carpentry with the eyes, turning them from brown to blue. Used to be all dark brown, now slowly but surely they're changing to blue. Smaller brownish circles being eaten away by the white lately. Uh, a white you can hardly tell they're brown anymore. Or the you can hardly tell the brown part is brown. And yes, the yeah they've been catching the light for the past uh, half a year plus because I've been taking the vitamins I think. If you're a doctor out there who can actually talk about, I I talked to one today and she wasn't able to say much about it. I can actually talk about the stigmata eyes, the eyes growing anew, medical research being passed by. Well, try to call me, 424-229-4140, and see, yes, your phone being hijacked. Not knowing when else it won't be allowed to work? Make a video of that. You got the timestamp on your phone. You got the number dialed. And also, come see me in person. Tell me what's going on with the eyes. Now, Tommy is, is this a Soul Camp Sugar Check. Son of a carpenter, Mary Sugar Check. Uh, apparently, you need a lot of sugar. To grow a new body, and so they got me checking my sugar and you know doing the pen thing with the insulin. Triceba, is it? But uh, this is a Tommy Purple. Tommy's the no-arm Chinese fella. It's a R fictional streets. Pick up your phone, make a video of it. Not gonna make the evening news unless it's supposed to be there. And if it's supposed to be there, you damn sure better be making those videos. Consider them your street resume. Tommy was told by his boss, Wu, to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. Oh, the Chinese streets, the oriental unseen business always seems to have a wood chipper. He told, he told Tommy to stick his right arm in as a test of loyalty, and Tommy's always been blindly obedient. He's Chinese. And he slowly fed that right arm into the wood chipper. Lefty saw what was going on with the right arm, and was of course surprised. Uh, bodies never chipped up arms before. Why is it doing it now? They had an agreement. A righty wrote it up himself before he got chipped up. We told stuff for you. We uh, zip up. We button up. We we do the nasty stuff in the bathroom. We wipe butts. We uh, pick noses. And Tommy was a professional nose picker before he. Uh, he lost his arms up. Yes, he's Chinese. Have you ever seen some of them out in public? Tommy lost his arms. Right arm went in, got chipped up, left. He saw what was going on, wisely jumped off. And, yeah, he got a promotion out of it. Lost a whole lot of folks around. Won his girlfriend's heart. He's always been scaly. Always talk with a horse or lisp. And, uh, yeah, now that he's missing both arms, he does some mean snake dance. Oh, yeah, he likes to stick his tongue out a lot. It helps with the snake dance. He snaked his way in between Rhea and whoever she was dancing with, and he's been there ever since. <clears throat> Met her at the Snake Pit, a popular dance club here in L.A. And so, uh, Rhea's living at his house, uh, their boyfriend, girlfriend, all that kind of thing. But this, yeah, this occurs at the house. Yeah, the light's not that good. I'm hoping to get a lamp. Maybe that might help. It's a dark day. It's supposed to be raining tomorrow. There's a knock on the door, and she knows it's Tommy because it sounds different when someone just knocks on the door with their hand and someone kind of hits with their head, which Tommy has to do, he doesn't have any arms. She knows it's Tommy, she goes to the door, she opens it up, his shirt's all scratched up. His, his chest and his, his stomach is bleeding. 
got all kinds of scratches on it. And Tommy sits down to tell her the story about the angry granny and the one that got away. Biggest alley cat he ever saw. He said, Bria, we could have eaten for a week on that cat. As you know, the Orientals like uh, cats and dogs. No, not as, din as pets as dinner. Ask them if they're honest, they'll tell you. If they get all angry about it, tell them don't write him letters, they get stolen. Not one letter about those Flight 93 checks. Not getting one in nine years. Why well, I tell you to make a video of your hijack call to me. No certified mail about the 93 checks or anything by Tommy Parables. No comments about that. No comments about the Obsama rumor. That uh, Hussein, Obama, in case you've never heard the name associated. The, the news media doesn't like to call him Hussein. That uh, Obama is Osama's son. Oh, put the two photos together right next to each other and have a look. And yeah, oh. Right around the eyes, check it out. Come on now, don't be a hater. That's not very politically correct. Not one comment in nine years of asking. About any of that my attention getting stuff. So make that video of your hijack call. Make a video of your certified mail, non-certified use FedEx, UPS, any private carrier. They're going to be stolen, the mail. Now back to my story. Tommy tells Rhea all about how he found that biggest alley cat yeah, in an alley. The thing about alley cats is they they have to be meaner. Because... Uh, yeah, they gotta catch the rats and all that, and they gotta claw, and they're meaner than your average uh, household cat, the alley cat. And Tommy, he saw one, he stalked it, he kinda put on his uh, very silent loafers. He doesn't need, he can't use the, the ties, the, the shoelaces, unless somebody's gonna tie him for him. He uh, kinda creeps up behind the alley cat and pounces. You know, always got to pounce with his mouth. He grabs the tail. And he, uh, please, all of you animal lovers out there, don't write me letters, they're gonna be stolen. He whaps that cat against the side of the house to, you know, prevent it from scratching him up. It doesn't work. He doesn't whap it hard enough. He whaps it again. And inside, Granny. Watching the soap operas, watching the game shows. Here's that thud, thud, thud. And she goes outside and there's Tommy. He's not about to let go even though that cat is scratching him up. He's supposed to be unconscious by now. He, uh is holding on and he's kind of not only the thud she hears the the cat kind of carrying on you know how cats carry on and it, it, she also hears a muffled screaming and then yeah that's tommy so um she goes out to her porch and she sees tommy you know slamming the cat against the side of her house so she gets her broom, she goes down there, and she starts uh, hitting Tommy with it until he, he finally lets go of the cat. And then she chases him down the alleyway with the broom just to hitting him until he, you know, she's a, a little old lady. She can't go as far as he can. She, he outruns her or as fast as he can. Uh, he outruns her and he makes it back to uh, his house and sits down and Rhea says we're going to do the the um, pet shop and the vet thing. This is LA Tommy. Do you know how many different 
patch up. It, it's you know sometimes you go back and then you go back another week. They kind of catch on, but uh, re explains we can go to a different one, all over L.A. All over L.A. County. <coughs> And Tommy said it's not the same. He's done that himself. He's gone to, he's had his workers go. He's gone to like vets and stuff. And he said that's not the same. You don't get the thrill of the hunt. And meanwhile, Granny's talking to some cops back at her house about this no armed. Chinese fellow who was trying to eat a live cat. Not only was he trying to eat the live cat, he kept slamming it against the side of her house. And the cops, they just kind of write it up to a little old lady's active imagination. I'm Mel, son of a carpenter. They pick up those phones. They make videos nowadays. Make that video of your hijack call to me. With the people in the speed reporters, call me up in front of reporters, network news anchors, local news anchors, and even all the public eye, mayors, governors, senators. Get their reactions. Are your phone not working? Why isn't my phone working? When else will it not be allowed to work? Does it have something to do with those who would be as bold enough to play someone named Hussein in the highest office in the world? Right, we got to take by a whole lot of angry, violent, deadly Husseins. You can't reach me to tell me who I should vote for, what I should vote for, what causes to support. That's our democracy being hijacked. You don't know how many others you can't reach. Something to think about. That's my new Trump's phone gate. It says, you going to get something boring? A phone ringing, an error message, busy signal? Get to leave a message. I don't get it. You don't show up on my caller ID, my call log. I post it to youtube.com slash DNFD series. DNFD S E R I E S. Also post these Tommy parables there. You can't uh, reach me whatever boring thing you get. Next time you're calling up countless other customers, that's uh, your gate's livelihood. And as far as politics go, our gate's livelihood, or your gate's livelihood, is a democracy it's political process that's not occurring properly so we get leaders like uh, that russian buffoon guy in there now and that muslim guy who doesn't want to admit he is muslim but is reaching out to the muslims right after we got attacked a whole lot of angry violent deadly who says something's not right somewhere we as the people need to cover that your phones make videos. Post them to YouTube, MySpace, Instagram, Facebook, a thousand more. And yes, uh, come see me in person. Tear down the Great Wall of Lula has just me. And yeah, those big fives. One's way over there. Let me run and get it real quick. Those big fives tell everyone how to check and post in five. Flight 93, check and post in five. Make the video, post the video. And all of the websites on the Big Fives are where you can download anything you see on me or in my hand. 19,000 plus images designed by me that have just me in them. The handsome ball guy. Oh, I'm trying to find a good one. Don't have time for the old one, but yes, all. All police, all firemen, all soldiers, you protect America. Make that video of America's high tech life phones, the military base's phone, the fire station's phone, the police station's phone. Whatever you get when you don't get me, 424 229 4140. Make the video, post the video. Come see me in person, tear down the great wall of evil that has just me and all of my imagery. And yeah, make those videos the truth. You got the timestamp on your phone, you got the number dialed. When it doesn't sync up with our phone records, we have phone gate. Make that video, post that video, and come see me. Tell me what you think of my plans to build Jesus' immaculate house here on earth. Put the best mankind has to offer in those homes. 
cities, communities, really, not just those places you go to on Sunday, places to inspire the future and the present to greatness with. Call me up to tell me what you believe. Doesn't have to be what you hear in church. You only have to go to church. Call me up to ask me what I mean by those thousand points of life. To inspire the future and the present to greatness with. And yes, the see religious censorship, the kind that can place someone in Hussein in the highest office in the world. Right after we got attacked by a whole lot of angry, violent, deadly Husseins. Come tear down that great wall of evil. Let's get started on a better world.